Hi team. I want to tell you about a really interesting new study that was just released in women. Yes, finally, a study in women. These were active women under the age of 30 and they were regularly menstruating. And what the researchers wanted to know was if this group of women ended up in a major calorie deficit known as low energy availability, what happened to their body composition and what happened to some specific biomarkers, mostly hormones in their system. So they took this group of women, they either gave them an optimal energy availability diet and had them exercise for 10 days, or they gave them a diet that was about half the amount of calories and made them exercise for 10 days. Now, this sounds a little bit extreme, but you know a bunch of people that have probably done this over 10 days to try to slim down or lose a little weight. But here's what happened. What they actually found was by combining this low energy availability and a high training volume in a healthy group of women, they did lose weight, but they actually lost more muscle than they did fat. This was the opposite of what happened in the optimal energy availability group where they actually saw that people also lost a little bit of fat, but they gained muscle and their weight on the scale didn't change. Interestingly, in both groups, they got pretty optimal levels of protein, 2.2 grams per kilo. And even with that protein support, that low energy availability and high exercise load resulted in a loss of skeletal muscle. They also noted some pretty significant changes in some hormones in these women, as well as glucose handling. Why do we care? Well, first of all, it's really important to make sure that you are optimizing your diet to match your training. You don't wanna end up in a situation where they're purposeful or by mistake, you are in low energy availability because it's going to compromise your muscle as well as your performance. So make sure that you are matching your diet to your training and always have a snack.